so Carter and I are here doing his 12 month update, right? So Carter is officially 13 months. We're a little late doing his 12 month update. And Carter started walking when he was the day before his first birthday. He just got up and decided that he wanted to walk, which was awesome. Okay, so a little bit about Carter. Right now, he is 21.1 pounds, and he's 27, I think, inches long. <laughs> and he's in the 20th percentile for both height and weight. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you want it. <laughs> he's in size 4 diapers. Um, he wears a 4.5 and shoes, but I've been getting them five so he can make it through the summer, right? Yeah. So you can make it through the summer. Yeah, let's follow your cell phone. Hello, is Carter there? He is. Okay, here he goes for you. Say hello. Now he doesn't want to talk of it. Just say hello. Okay, what else is happening with you? Okay, so he's in a 4.5 shoes. He's in 18 months. Well, he's in he can fit 12 months, but he fits it perfectly. So I've been buying him 18 month summer clothes. Um, and I'm just all over the place right now. Okay. Right now, Carter loves um, yogurt drops. He likes the Gerber veggie sticks. He likes mandarin oranges and he loves squash. It's like his favorite food right now. Um, he is not eating food with texture. He kind of digressed. So now he only eats baby food. Um, he'll eat Cheerios and fruit, but any type of like noodles or chicken or anything like that, he won't eat unless it's pureed. So back to buying baby food. <laughs> uh, we've been trying to get him to drink whole milk, which also is not going very well. Um, if he's really thirsty, I found he'll drink it, but it has to be really cold. So he doesn't like the warmed up or room temperature it has to be like freezing cold milk. And I think he might have got that for me because I like my milk freezing cold. And what else are you? Oh, so I've been trying to wean Carter off um, the breast milk. It's going, it's going. <laughs> um, we've had some good days and we had some bad days. And the main feeding I want to get him off of is the nighttime feeding because it's preventing him from sleeping at night. He'll wake up just so he can eat. So now when he wakes up at night, I just talk to him and rub his back and put him back to sleep. Um, so from 9 o'clock to 5 a.m., sometimes 6 a.m., whenever he wakes up, he gets no breast milk. So that's the feeding that I'm trying to break, which is the hardest because he's waking up three and four times a night and I have to just lay him down in the crib and pat his back and tell him to go back to sleep. So he's been going to sleep fine. That's never been the problem. It's the waking up that's the problem. When he wakes up, he's usually up for one to two hours, um, crying off and on until he falls back asleep, which has been getting better. Like some days he sleeps from nine to six and other days he's up every other hour, right? Right? Yeah. So we never know what's gonna happen. But it's not, it's not going too bad. I mean, I've been working with them and it's getting better. <laughs> so, um, we've been doing it. Um, I started dropping his feedings at nine months. So he didn't get any breast milk while he was at daycare. So he got fed when he got home from daycare, which was like six or seven. And then before bed. And then when he woke up at night. So he was doing like four feedings a day. Um, so now he's down to two before bed and when he wakes up in the morning so nothing throughout the day and if we could just stick to those two feedings I'd be fine with that uh, morning and night but if we could just break this uh, middle of the night feeding um, so that's the hardest thing about weaning right now other thing that Carter's going through is teething we've been using the vanilla on his gums which has been helping but I also bought the Highland teething tablets and um, it's another company. I can't think of their name, but they have teething strips. Oops. These are the teething tablets by Highlands. 
So you take two of these tablets, you put them underneath your baby's tongue, and they dissolve. And I think you have to give it to the baby every four times a day for these. For this one, it's Humphreys All Natural Teething Switch Strips. And for these, you give it to the baby um, once every 30 minutes, I think it is. Um, I like these because they work instantly. The Highlands Teething Tablets don't, they take a little while, I think. Like, when he has these, he's instantly better. He's not fussing anymore. These take a little while to work. Um, I like them both. These are cheaper. <laughs> and these are always on sale at Walgreens. Um, Humphreys also has the teething tablets, but I haven't tried theirs. So, just my personal opinion. So, between the tablets and the Humphreys, I think I like the Humphreys better. Um, I also got Carter a teething necklace. Can you come here? Can I see your necklace? Carter, come here. Let's show them your necklace. Can we show them? Ah. Now, this is his necklace. I don't know how well you can see it. But they usually say the lighter the color, um, the better it works. And when I ordered this one on the internet, it was like a honey. But now that it's here, it's more like a cognac. Um, I think this TV necklace does not work and has not helped at all. We got it for him right before we went to Atlanta, and in Atlanta he was a miserable wreck. His teeth were bothering him really, really bad, so I think it's just cute decoration, though. But I don't think it worked for us, and everybody else, they like worship it and says it works so great, but we didn't get, um, we didn't get good results from it. Had his first haircut, as you guys can see. Um, I made a little video clip for you guys to see, and I'll upload that for you, but he got a little haircut. It's almost, almost growing back. We just cut the big mohawk off, you know. He looks like such a big guy now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What else is happening with you, my love? He mimics people very, very well. Um, and he's kind of young to be doing this, but if you say something, like one time we were like, hello, who is it? He says, hello, who is it? And he's trying, but if you sit there and listen really clearly, you can hear him kind of saying what you were saying. So that is super cute. He waves on demand now. So if you're like, bye bye, he'll wave. Of course, he won't do it for the camera. And I taught him how to cover his mouth and cough. Let's see if he'll do it. Look, Carter. Go. Look. <coughs> cover your mouth. <laughs> Good job. Wow. So he learned how to cover his mouth and cough. Um, Carter has six teeth now. So he has three on top and three on bottom. The last tooth that's coming in is on the bottom. It's only halfway in so far. And he's still a little wobbly while he's walking, but for the most part, he's pretty good. No? That's his new thing. He screams a lot. He screams all the time um, for everything. I think he learned it at daycare because we don't really scream around here. So, yeah, I think it's a daycare trait. Right? Daycare taught you those bad things? It's fun. Um, and that's about all that's happening. I'll show you the play area. It's kind of looking a little dirty right now, but I'll show it to you guys really quick. So, these are his books and toys. And that is his old um, bassinet that we put toys in now. In this empty container, I'll put something in there. But that's where all his uh, trucks and cars go. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And this is his music basket. Um, we bought him this cute little bean bag to sit in his play area. So he has two. And then that's his rocking moose and his broby. I found this rug at Ross, and I think it was $24. So, and then we keep a couple things up here as well. These are some shakers that I made for him. They're kind of covered in clutter right now, but they just have different things in them. You can shake them. Uh, this one has feathers, beads. 
show what you'll be. Let me get this bag. So he has those to shake. Also keep his bubbles up here. He got a bubble maker for his birthday. And I can show you guys the bubble maker really quick. But this is what it looks like. And I'll give you guys a look. So this bubble maker is called the Blastos. It needs to use the Blastos bubbles or it won't work. And it spins the bubbles around in a circle. It's definitely an outside machine, but it makes a lot, a lot of bubbles. And Carter really likes it. Now it leaves this little foam on the carpet, that's why I say it's an outside machine. But the Blastos bubbles are only like uh, $5.99 and you get the big, big container. But he loves this. This is like entertainment for hours. The bubbles. Oh, oh, oh. And that's his uh, diapers.com box that he plays inside. He loves that thing. <laughs> You done with the bubbles? Thanks so much for watching our 12 month update. Uh, we'll keep you posted on his 13 months. And that may be the last update that we ever do. So we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.